Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what are proportional sides of triangles? When two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional. And in today's video, we'll be focusing specifically on that property, what it means for the sides of two triangles to be proportional. Let's say that the side lengths of this purple triangle are A, B, and C. Then, if the sides of this triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of this triangle, that means there exists some number k called the constant of proportionality. And what's special about k is that the side lengths of this triangle are equal to k times the corresponding side length of the purple triangle. So when we say that the side lengths of this triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of this triangle, that means there exists a number k called the constant of proportionality, such that the length of each side of the blue triangle is equal to k times the length of the corresponding side in the purple triangle. So you can see that the sides of the blue triangle are just the sides of the purple triangle, but scaled up by a factor of k. So if two triangles are similar, then they have this relationship. Additionally, if you don't know that the triangles are similar, but you do know that they have this relationship, that their corresponding side lengths are proportional, then you can conclude that they are similar triangles. So that's what it means for the sides of two triangles to be proportional. It means that the side lengths of one of the triangles are just the side lengths of the other triangle multiplied by a constant number. So again, in this case, we say that the sides of this blue triangle are proportional to the sides of this purple triangle with a constant of proportionality of k because each side length of the blue triangle is equal to k times the corresponding side length of the purple triangle. But we could also go the other direction and say that the sides of the purple triangle are proportional to the sides of the blue triangle, but if we say that, we have a different constant of proportionality. In this slightly different case, the constant of proportionality would be 1 over k, because in order to get this side length of a, we have to multiply the corresponding side length in the blue triangle by 1 over k. And you can see that, I'll write that here, 1 over k, the constant of proportionality, multiplied by the corresponding side length in the blue triangle. That's k times a. You can see how the k's will cancel out, giving us a side length of a. Similarly, over here with the side length of b, that's 1 over k, the constant of proportionality, multiplied by the corresponding side length in the blue triangle. And then with c, c is equal to 1 over k, multiplied by k times c. So again, we could say that the sides of the blue triangle are proportional to the sides of the purple triangle with constant of proportionality k because the side lengths of the blue triangle are equal to k times the corresponding side lengths of the purple triangle. Or we could say that the sides of the purple triangle are proportional to the sides of the blue triangle with constant of proportionality 1 over k, because the sides of the purple triangle are equal to 1 over k times the length of the corresponding sides of the blue triangle. So just keep that in mind, that which triangle you're considering to be proportional to the other triangle has an effect on the constant of proportionality. And again, whenever two triangles are similar, they have this relationship, that their corresponding sides are proportional. Additionally, if you don't know the triangles are similar, but their corresponding sides are proportional, then you can conclude that they are similar. Let me erase these side lengths of the purple triangle and change them back to A, B, and C, written in this nice, simple fashion. Something neat you might notice about triangles whose corresponding sides are proportional is that the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. I'll show you what I mean. So for starters, consider this side. It corresponds to this side. So the ratio of those side lengths is KA to A. This is equal to the ratios of all of the other pairs of corresponding side lengths. So the next one we could write would be KB, which corresponds to B. And you have to make sure that you put the side length of the same triangle in the numerator each time. 
otherwise the equality will not be true. And then the last ratio is this side length, KC, to this corresponding side length of C. Write that down here, KC over C. So again, if the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the ratios of their corresponding sides are equal. And hopefully after writing it out, you can see why that's true. Since each side of the blue triangle is just equal to K times the side length of the purple triangle, you can see how all of these A's, B's, and C's will cancel out. So all of these ratios are equal to K which is our constant of proportionality. You can also use this property to determine if two triangles are similar. So if you know all of the triangle side lengths and you want to figure out if they are similar triangles, just look at the ratios of the corresponding sides. If all of the ratios are equal, then the triangles are similar. Additionally, if the ratios are equal, then they're all equal to the constant of proportionality. And since in this case we put the side lengths of the blue triangle in the numerator, this constant of proportionality tells us that the side lengths of the blue triangle are proportional to those of the purple triangle, with of course constant k. So again, if you know that the sides of two triangles are proportional, then the ratios of the corresponding sides are all equal, and they're equal to the constant of proportionality. But if you don't know that the sides are proportional, then you can check the ratios of the corresponding sides in order to figure out if the sides are proportional. And again, if all the ratios are equal, then the sides are proportional, and all of the ratios are equal to the constant of proportionality. And again, saying that the corresponding sides are proportional is the same as saying that the triangles are similar. So let's do a quick example to try to clarify these ideas. Let's say that the side lengths of this purple triangle are 2, 3, and 4. And then let's say that the side lengths of the blue triangle are 6, 9, and 12. Then if we want to figure out if these two triangles are similar, we can just check the ratios of the corresponding sides to see if they are all equal. And to know which sides correspond, we just have to match the smallest side to the smallest side, second smallest side to the second smallest side, and the largest side to the largest side. So we'll write these ratios down here. And this time, let's put the side lengths of the purple triangle in the numerator. So we know the side with length 2, the smallest side of the purple triangle, corresponds to the side with length 6, the smallest side of the blue triangle. Similarly, the side with length 3 corresponds to the side with length 9. And then the side with length 4 corresponds to the side with length 12. You might notice that indeed all of these ratios are equal. These are all pretty familiar versions of one third. So since all of the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal to one third, we know that the triangles are similar. And we know that the sides of this triangle are proportional to the sides of this triangle with constant of proportionality one third. And you can see that constant of proportionality in action if I rewrite these side lengths. We could rewrite two as one third times six. We could rewrite three, of course, as one third times nine. And we could rewrite four as one third times 12. So that's an example of how we can use the side lengths of these two triangles to check to see if the corresponding sides are proportional by checking if the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. And since they were equal, we were able to conclude that the corresponding sides of these triangles are proportional, which also means that the two triangles are similar. Now, quickly before we go, let's do another example problem to see another way that this information can be used. We'll keep the same side lengths on the purple triangle, but let's say we don't know this side length of the blue triangle, so instead of 12, we'll just write x. Then, let's say we are told that these two triangles are similar, which means their corresponding side lengths have to be proportional. Then, since the corresponding sides are proportional, we know that the ratios of the corresponding sides will be equal, which means we can set the ratio of 2 to 6 equal to the ratio of 4 to x. So 2 over 6 is equal to 4 over x. So by knowing that these triangles are similar, that means that the ratios of their corresponding sides are equal, so we can set up this equality to 
solve for x. We can solve this easily by doing what's called cross multiplying, which is really just multiplying both sides of the equation by 6 and multiplying both sides by x. Doing that tells us that 2x is equal to 24. Therefore, dividing both sides by 2 gives us x is equal to 12. So that's just another nifty example of how the idea of proportional sides can come in handy. Again, if the sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of another triangle, that means that the side lengths of the first triangle are all equal to the corresponding side lengths of the other triangle multiplied by some constant number, called the constant of proportionality. Sometimes you'll be given that number, sometimes not. But if you know the corresponding sides are proportional, you can find it by looking at the ratio of any pair of corresponding sides, because they're all equal, and they're all equal to the constant of proportionality. And again, if you don't know whether or not the sides of two triangles are proportional, you can check the ratios of their corresponding sides. If they're all equal, then the triangles are proportional. There are other ways you could figure out that two triangles have proportional side lengths as well, but again, this video is really just focus on the side lengths. So we're leaving angles out of the discussion today. And remember, if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding side lengths are proportional. Additionally, if their corresponding side lengths are proportional, then they are similar. So that statement goes both ways. So I hope this video has made you more comfortable with the idea of triangles being proportional. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or if any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.